Hello and welcome to another video by myself, Chris, from Surrey on the Budget. And um, today I'm going to be looking at my Pookie predictions for this coming weekend's J League. Um, obviously, as I've mentioned a few times on Twitter and also on here, um, I've been doing quite a few of these uh, Pookie videos because it's actually a really fun uh, way to interact with, uh, you know, keeping an idea. I on an entire team, as opposed to, you know, just uh, just your individual players on Surrey. So, um. If you're brand new, there's a link in the Twitter feed and there's also a link in the description below to get started. You can uh, get involved with the free to play, uh, which won't cost you anything. Um, or alternatively, there are the Pookie Balls that are available at the moment. You can see the four different varieties on in here. The main difference being the higher the, the, the Pookie Ball, the, uh, the higher the percentages it's going to give you towards your overall scores. Um, if you start with the common ones, though, you are able to build them up over time using your experience points um, and building them up. Um, I bought a rare one, and I've got that up to level uh, 28 at the moment. Um, as you can see here, these are the percentages I'm going to get from my Pokeball based on uh, the the outcomes that I predict. So I'm going to get a 17% bonus if I predict correctly, whether it's a home draw or away. I'm going to get an extra 22% if I guess correctly for the over-under. And I'm also going to get a 17% boost on the full score as well. So without further ado, um, I have the league open on uh, SofaScore on my phone and I am going to go through this. So we have nine fixtures. The reason I'm doing it a day early is because the first fixture is actually Friday morning. Um, it's one of those that if you're playing Surreal, it actually falls out with the game week. So um, it is Cerezo Osaka versus Avispa. Now, um, Osaka have been playing pretty well um, in recent weeks. They're up to fifth in the league. Um, Avispa are... <sighs> They've, on a, they've been on a poor run of form. It's four defeats in the last five. Um, I feel like this is a game for Osaka to go ahead and do pretty well. And as it looks like the bookies do, they've got them even's favourite and they've got three three to one for an away win. So I am going to give these lads a, a fairly decent run here. So, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be more than three goals. I'm going to go with a 3-1. I'm hoping for a 3-0, to be honest, for my Sarair team um, because I have a uh, mini stack uh, for my midweek team there. So, big game at the top of the league. Uh, we're going with Nagoya and uh, Kawasaki Frontale. And that, well, actually, it's not so much the top of the league. Normally, normally Kawasaki are a top of the league team. Um, it's third in Nagoya versus 10th um, for Kawasaki. So, looking at it, um, Kawasaki has shown no losses in the last five. Um more than six, more than two and a half goals in five of the last six games. Um, this is going, it feels like it's got draw written all over it. I'm going to go with a 2 2 draw in this one, uh, for that game. Now, next one we have uh, Alberix versus uh, Sanfreshi Hiroshima. So, that one, I have a couple of players for uh, Hiroshima and the team. So, they've been a little up and down in recent weeks. They were on really good form. So, you're looking at uh, 29 points for the season, sixth place against 15th. Um, so, do, 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 let's just, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with a, it's a narrow win. I'm going to go with a 2 0 away win here for this one. Now, let's have a look at our next game. Uh, Kashima Reso, uh, Kashima Antler, sorry, my apologies. Kyoto Sanga. Um, Sanga, I, I had that miracle on Surreal. Guy had averaged 36 for the last uh, 15, and he got 100 points, which was outstanding. And um, there's only actually nine points between the teams. So um, Kyoto are six games without a clean sheet. Five out of five of the last games have had more than two and a half goals. Um, both teams have scored in five out of five of the last uh, Kyoto. Um, I am going to go with a 2-1 victory for Kashima. It might be heavier than that, um, but I'm going to give them the home win. Uh, Yokohama versus Gamba. Gamba have started to get themselves motoring a little bit um, after a really, really poor start to the season. They've managed to get four wins in the last uh, four games in the league. Um, Yokohama are 17th. Not too much places between them, um, but form-wise, Gamba are certainly back. Um, it seems to be since they had uh, Higashi Gucci went back in the goal, they've actually had a decent run of form. So um, this one looks almost definitely to be a 
scoring game. Am I going to go 2-1 away? Yeah, I'm going to go 2-1 away. Feels like a safe result. Um, I did have another cash win in this one again last week. So that's about three or four on the bounce. Um, and you could see, obviously, I've before I come on, I do have a little look at the leagues and things, but I like to have a proper look whilst, I, whilst I'm on. Um, I'm using SofaScore because it gives you the stand-ins, it gives you the head-to-heads, it gives you the recent team streaks. Um, like, for instance, Urawa, 11 games with no losses. Um, three without a clean sheet, however. Um, now, this one is a bit tricky. So, uh, Sagan Tosu, um, their last five out of six games have had more than two and a half goals. Urawa have had less than two and a half goals in five out of six. So, um, both teams scoring. Uh, yeah, I think. Now, what do we look at here? I think we go with another draw, and it's going to be a, a, a boring 1 1 draw here. Urawa did have a midweek game as well, so I wonder if that's going to play into a little bit of rotation. Uh, Tokyo versus Kashiba Resol. I do have uh, Diego Oliveira up front in one of my lineups, and I fancy this to be a, a good, solid home win. Um, as it looks to the, the bookies as well. And they've got no wins in the last three for Kashiwa. Um, both teams have scored in their games uh, for Tokyo. I am going to go 3 1 and I'm hoping for Diego Oliveira uh, double at least, at least double decisive. Diesel Kobe versus Consadol uh, Sapore. That's uh, uh, Sapporo, sorry. Um, it's second against ninth now. I do feel like this is going to be an almost definite home win. Um, both teams will probably score, but I feel like this is the type of game. Visa Kobe have not conceded many, so I'm going to go with 2-1 in this one. It's a little bit of a boring scoreline, but I feel like that might be the case. And then we have top of the league, Yokohama uh, Marinos versus Seanan Belmare. Um, Seanan are bottom of the league. Um, their star striker is signing over to Germany. Um, I think this could be a heavy win. Um, yes, I am going with a 3-0 home win for this one. So there we go, guys. That is my lineups. As I've mentioned, um, the top 50% are the ones that are going to get prizes in these. So the, the leaderboard obviously have clicked on their own thing. They're meant to click on rewards. Um, at the moment, you are looking at 188 prizes uh, for the for the league, which is pretty good. Do you know, some of it at the lower end is very, very minimal, but so is getting a 60p uh, tier five reward in Serea. You know, you, if you're not at the top, end of it you're not going to get huge prizes but i do think that that does work in there so um looking again at the pokeballs that are available if you did want to get involved um buying any of these whether it be the common or the legendary ones it does open up the premium leagues which is what i'm playing in um, i just feel that it makes more sense to do so but if you do not want to invest you can play the free to play ones which are available there as well which is the basic league um, there are games in there all the time and you can you know enter any of these competitions um, as you go as well. So with that guys, I will uh, leave you on that note. Description, uh, link in the description below, link in the tweet for this video as well. Take care guys, I will speak to you all again soon.